I've come to appreciate that love is much more than a word, but an action that requires hard work and diligence. There will be times when our love is pushed to the edge. However, when those times come, we will be able to face them head on. How? Patience, kindness, humility, and ultimately, our relationship with Jehovah are the foundations that we will use to not just keep our love alive, but to keep our marriage thriving. Today's the day, a day I made one of the biggest decisions in my life. And I gotta say that choosing to spend a lifetime with you is one of the greatest ones of all. Oh, whoa, <laughs> sorry, that, that hit me. Um, how do you start a letter to the man you love on your wedding day? With the man that knows me better than I know myself. With the man that can calm any anxiety with a kiss on the forehead. And most importantly, with a man who always relies on Jehovah. Despite all the nerves and anticipation wrapped up in today, there's an underlying calm. You are the person I want to spend my every day with. You are my shelter in a storm. You are the one place I can be completely me. Woo! Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Oh, you look so cute. Uh, marriage is a gift from Jehovah, but the quality of your marriage is your gift back to Jehovah. Y'all like that? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, that's recycle. Recycle. It's okay. I heard it from somebody else. The amount of joy that enters my heart thinking about being married to you is unmeasurable. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your understanding. But most importantly, thank you for your love. So when it comes to loving your new wife, remember, it's the small things. Troy, Roy, love never fails. And so if you continue to show love in your marriage, if you continue to do things the way that Jehovah does it, not only will you continue to have love in this system of things, but you will continue to have love and display love for all eternity. You make it so easy to just follow you. You have such a beautiful humility and call on Jehovah whenever you need guidance. We by no means had a typical relationship, but that one thing was always consistent. You've been there for me, not just when times are convenient, but times of difficulty. Times when it might be easy to simply walk away, but rather you chose to stay. We have overcome so much to get to this day, and it's so clear that with Jehovah's help, we can get through anything. That thought keeps me calm, keeps me sure, and keeps me focused on our new adventure. I'm so excited for every little piece of this journey with you. Like you always say, it's just you, me, and Jehovah, and that's all we need. I can't wait to see you, babe. Love, Ray.